Our next stop is another quaint Tennessee town worth a visit. A few miles west of Nashville, Kingston Springs offers a little history, some entertainment, and a whole lot of hospitality. Well, that's what Jessica Turk discovered on a recent visit. As you travel Interstate 40, many of the exits along the way are simply signs passing in the landscape and possibly future places to fill up the tank. But if you slow down and take a closer look, you might find something special. You might find Kingston Springs. It really is a special place. It's great people, great town. It's a lot of fun. It's an experience. This stretch of road is Main Street, or downtown as the locals call it. It may be short, but this historic street has a lot to offer. It's more than an assortment of shops. Main Street is a meeting place for a rural community to come together, and the heart of this downtown may surprise you. Behind every great community is a great library. That couldn't be more true for Kingston Springs, as Janet Walker, library director, will tell you. It's kind of the heart of our community. And tell me, how is Ginger? The South Cheatham Public Library started humbly, operating out of a small corner in City Hall. In 1986, with the goal of promoting community interest, towns were encouraged to create a homecoming project for Tennessee's 150-year celebration. A lot of communities did parks, and our community decided they wanted to do a library. One of only two log cabin libraries in the state, it has served as Main Street's core for almost 30 years. From craft nights and story times to hosting the town Christmas tree lighting, the library is an essential part of this quaint community. You think of a mall with an anchor store, and I think about us being the anchor library here in town. That one looks like it's going to take yes. off for flight. But over the years, others have joined the library on Main Street, dropping anchors of their own and developing into staples of the community. Fifteen years ago, Patrick Wickenan opened the fill-in station. In the beginning, it was scary. I was the only one down here. It started small, with a George Foreman grill and four bar stools. Now the fill-in station is a popular restaurant and live music venue that doesn't just bring in the locals. Respected musicians from all over visit Kingston Springs just to play here. Then the businesses started growing, which I love to see because it was like company. And over the years, the company continued moving in. His neighbors now include a yarn shop, yoga studio, and even an antique boutique. Look at these cute shirts. Cindy Sullivan, owner of Vintage Loved, opened her shop on Main Street after leaving her career as a social worker. With my son having early signs of autism, I felt like it was more my calling and passion to work directly with him but I opened the shop so I could have a social outlet as well. And according to Kingston Springs Mayor Tony Gross, that's exactly what Main Street provides. The community really centers on this area. It almost feels like extended family. You know, you walk up, people want to give you a hug and talk, and it's just a really special place to be. <laughs> We've had a couple natural disasters here, and in both situations, you know, this town just came together. Everybody helped each other out. In March of 2012, a tornado struck Main Street, damaging many buildings, even ripping part of the roof off of the library. The next day, 75 volunteers showed up to help. And during the flood of 2010, having not lost power or internet access, a coffee shop on Main Street owned by Amy and Cole Bruce served as a makeshift command center for local volunteers. There were all these volunteers that said, I want to help clean out homes. And we did over like 350 homes yeah, with volunteers, local volunteers yeah. through the coffee shop. And so that really built a lot of community through something bad. And if it wasn't for that bad experience, the coffee shop, now the popular Sky King Pizza, wouldn't be part of this bustling Main Street. But how exactly did they go from coffee to pizza? <laughs> About... uh, that's a long story. <laughs> After starting the coffee shop, they realized they needed to offer more than coffee to sustain their business in a small community. So while talking with their chef friends and doing a little research, we decided to do pizza. Everyone loves pizza. Show me somebody that doesn't love pizza.
At that point, it was, all right, we want to make the best product we can absolutely make. The wood-fired oven is the secret to everything. On the floor, it'll be around 900 degrees. In the dome, it'll be around 1,500 degrees. So it continually brings in room temperature, moist air over your pizza, unlike, a, say, a convection oven where it's circulating air and it dries it out. You can just about put anything in that wood-fired oven and it comes out just tasting better. Skillet! Here's the honest truth. It's a big adventure, no matter if you open it out here or in Nashville or wherever, but we really wanted to open up this place for the community. From pizza to pints and antiques to art, Main Street in Kingston Springs has something for everyone. For me, it's the gelato. They asked me, what sweet tea is? I said, well, my husband's sweet and I'm tea. Teresa Chandler, or tea, opened the newest addition to Main Street this summer, sweet teas, ice cream, and food. We always loved the gelato in Sicily, so we decided that we would take that gelato and bring it to our community. But what way? Do you want the ring? I love seeing their face when they taste our gelato for the first time. The children come to the case and they all have their faces pressed up against the window. Thank you. I love the community. When you're Italian, your kind of background is welcoming and having friends and inviting them over. And this is like a perfect spot. It's great people, great town. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of life here. So we wanted to be part of it. Part of a community with a lot more to offer than just a fill up.